Doesn't seem so long ago, fire, gunshots, riots in Cincinnati. In 2001, we were that community. 17 deaths within a short period of time of unarmed um, black men. Community leaders want to prevent that from happening again. The events of 2001 really was the catalyst to, to transform the city and, and the police department. At the new prospect Baptist Church in Roselawn, this is one of many discussions this week, taking a hard look at who owns the crime. The community fuels discussions about issues the city faces even after the collaborative agreement. I think the continued conversation, uh, it's been 15 years, and the table that we set 15 years ago is still set. Uh, there's still monthly meetings where the community comes together. The goal is community-focused policing, protecting people first and not targeting individuals. And it's a very small number of people that commit a large number of the crimes. The agreement and the model are tools other cities have tried to emulate. Community leaders say, though, there's still plenty of work to be done. It can go from my relationship with police is, is good, or it can go from I've had a very terrible relationship with police and things went bad. People here hope to see more problem solving and partnerships, and they say transparency is key, all parts of a roadmap to getting better. Community leaders say police transparency and also accountability are just two of the things that are very important in moving forward, along with understanding different types of policing. In Roselawn, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.